Terry Malloy, welcome to Australia. Thank you very much. Now, I'm sure you've been asked this by every single person, but how are you enjoying your time here? Loving it, loving it. I really, yeah, yeah, I should have. Uh, if I wasn't such an old fart with health problems, I'm sure I would be tempted to emigrate. But, but, but you know, it's better for your health if you come over here with a lot of sunshine, and you know, you won't know today with the rain, but you know, oh. usually with all the sunshine. I, I brought my British summer with me. Yeah, clearly, I think so. <coughs> we thank you so much. No, that's all right. No, in fact, they all were ringing me up at home saying, please stay there, because <laughs> over here, blue skies, 25 degrees. Thank I you. had a dollar for every time someone rang me up and said, just stay there. I tell yeah. you what, we need to work <laughs> anymore. <laughs> So obviously you play Davros in Doctor Who and you have been doing that for a long, long time now. Yeah, since 1983. So I think it's safe to say you probably actually out-regenerated some of the Doctors in that sense. I've been, yeah, I've been through a few Doctors. I, you know, I churn them out. Churn so, them out. so I think that what the fans really want to know is who is your favourite Doctor? I mean, I know we know he's your arch nemesis, but who would be your favourite Doctor? Well, it's always got to be the one that you grew up with. I know I look far too young for it, but in fact I was 16 years old when Doctor Who started, so it was Hartnell and Troughton for me. Um, and they were the doctors I grew up with, you know. Um, obviously I've been working with Peter and with Colin and Sylvester and uh, with Big Finish with Paul McGann. So, um, yeah, there's a whole tranche of doctors I've worked with um, in different ways, either on Doctor Who or off on, in theatre and things like that. But, um, yeah, no, my, my original love was, was Troughton. And was there any doctor that you wish you, you could have uh, worked with, or...? Um, I'd love to have worked with Eccleston. Eccleston? Yeah. He, he gave up too quickly, I think. I, th I, know, I, I still don't understand why he did. He didn't want to be always associated, but I think that just made it worse. I think everyone yeah. just says, what could have been? So. No, absolutely. No, I'd like to have worked with Eccleston. Um, but, well, like any of them, really. I mean, I'll, I'll go through all the doctors. Bring them on. I will exterminate them. Now, there, now there's some per person furiously writing fan fiction of Davros versus all the Doctors <laughs> ever written. <laughs> um, now, I consider myself, I, I'd say, an average who being, you know, I watch the series, I've seen all, pretty much all the new, I've seen a lot of the classics as well, yeah. so. Um, but things like the big Finnish audio, I've heard of it, but I've never actually done it myself, and I assume a lot of people who just start getting into Doctor Who wouldn't have heard of Big Finish before. So, how would you describe Big Finish? What exactly is Big Finish for the average who but who doesn't actually know that it exists? Uh, Big Finish is the company that basically kept Dr. Koo going after it finished in 1989. They started to record audio adventures with the Doctors, with the companions, with the villains, and carried it through and brought in writers and enabled them to hone their craft so that when eventually you know, people like, uh, you know, they, they managed to bring the series back into the, into the telly. They had a tranche of writers who were able to write for Doctor Who already uh, in train. And so, uh, big Finnish audio adventures are better than the telly. You, I was about to say, do you think the television's better? From now that it's kicked off when it re yeah. resurfaced again uh, back in yeah. 2000 and... No. Five. Five. Yeah. No, nine. Yeah, nine. When it, I can't. And when it came back, when it came back, when it, came back uh, it was, uh, you know, so you think it's um, the big Finnish audios would, would be a, a better continuity to continue on rather than well, starting to do fresh. with continuity, it's to do with the ability to tell stories without the requirement of the budget that you need to do in television. Plus, on radio, the pictures are always better. That's it. <laughs> it's all up here. You create the sets, you create the, you know, the whole thing. And... Um, it's a quality of writing that they've managed to achieve with so many of their writers over the years that uh, st st stood the test of time. And, and being able to, I mean, for instance, on Big Finish, we did a four-part miniseries called I, Davros, which is like I, Claudius. Mm -hmm. But it, tr it tracked Davros's development from a 15-year-old boy up to the creation of the first Dalek. So you saw that transition from his Aryan youth, this brilliant-minded Aryan, Aryan youth, right through to the crippled scientist who um, created that first Dalek. So, so if you want the real story, you have to go listen to the big audio finish. Big, big, finish. big, big, big finish audio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's fine. They've got, a, they've got a vast range of not just Doctor Who stuff. I mean, I've just done Survivors, which has just been released, and I've um, yeah. just recorded Frankenstein with Arthur Darvill as Frankenstein. Oh, that, that's um, something I'd like to So there's lots of classic stuff, like Terror Hawks. I've been doing all kinds of classic things. and. The Avengers, New Avengers, they've been doing as audio adventures. You ought to buy it already, guys. Go on and buy it. Yeah, yeah. Now obviously when you do Davros, you get 
full makeup. You know, you get this third eye, you look yeah. like you're melted wax sort of thing. I, I wouldn't assume so, but does anyone actually recognize you when you walk down the street and say, hey, it's Davros, or does anyone, does anyone ever, like, do you ever get caught out, like, in the supermarket, say, excuse me, are, are you Davros? Or... <laughs> Only if somebody knows what I look like. Okay. I mean, that's the great thing about playing that and doing a lot of the stuff I do on radio, is that you know, I'm fairly anonymous. I mean, I can walk the streets, I can go to restaurants, I can get on a bus, nobody knows who I am, you know, if I put the voice on, it's different. Of course, that, then it's a completely different kettle of fish. And so, do you think we might be seeing you in a return in the Capaldi era? Is that the, do you think? Can I you, don't know. Yeah, just, just blink twice for yes and once for no. If so. I blinked twice, I'd have to kill you. Davros is going to kill me, people. This, this, this <laughs> can't be a good thing. Um, all right, now, before, I want to do a little bit of word association with you here. Okay. Okay? So, I want you to say the first thing that comes to your head whenever I say these words. Doctor. Who? Dalek. Son. Stephen Moffat. Who? <laughs> Russell T. Davis. Who? Exterminate. Excellent. Saxophone. Cavern Club. BBC. The Archers. <laughs> okay. So, uh, of course, with the saxophone, you actually uh, play saxophone, don't you? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I was at uh, Liverpool in the mid '60s, I I misspent my youth there playing saxophone in the in the Cavern Club. Well, that's good because I've got a saxophone right here for you to play. No, I don't. A saxophone, fine, fine. Bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. Bring it out. Well, well, I'm glad you said that because I don't actually have a saxophone. But what I would love to do before we finish this interview is to uh, to maybe do something just for the nerds out there. I would love us to sing the Doctor Who theme song. So I, I'm I would like to, to to start things off and you come in with the okay. Do We Do. I think I think oh, that I'm doing the Do We Do. You're doing the Do We Do because okay, I I'm I'm doodly dumb. 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 Okay. All right. So let's. This is exclusive, guys. Davros singing the Doctor Who theme song. Dum di 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 dum Oh, let's um, let's play sax. I don't. Sing. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe we should stick to our respective careers, and we won't try doing that ever, ever again. So, thank you so much for interviewing with me, Terry. It's been an absolute pleasure. Pleasure.